Mark again at Exotic Car Play Place. And today we're going to talk about the top five things you need to know if you're going to buy a Lamborghini Gallardo. These are actually the top five things that fail on these early Gallardos. I do include a little bit of in general information for the later cars too. But these are some things that you really should know before you actually go out and purchase one of these Lambos. There are not a lot of problems, but there are enough problems that you should be aware of that because being a supercar, it is not cheap to fix. So the first thing that you should know about these Lamborghini Gallardos and their failure mode are the clutches. These early Gallardos specifically have clutches that were, when they first came out, were known to burn out in 5,000 up to 10,000 kilometers is all you were able to get out of these clutches. Well, as a new owner of the new and latest and greatest exciting supercar, you've got to be thinking that you are really unfortunate and disappointed with your new purchase when all you're going to get is 5,000 kilometers, maybe 10,000 kilometers on a clutch. Oh, that's got to be frustrating. These things ate clutches like Colonel Sanders at a chicken convention. They were unbelievable. That has since been rectified and is much better now with the latest E version of the clutch. Second point in things that fail on these Gallardos are the interior buttons. You gotta wonder, what were they thinking? I know this is the baby Lambo, but you know what? Maybe some upscale parts are in order here. If you look, you'll find a lot of the parts, they start to wear off very soon. Now there's some of the controls are beautifully made, well constructed and a pleasure to operate. Others on the other hand are not. So the special disappointing part is that regardless, even when the car is sitting still, you still want to go out there and grope the car once in a while. So when you do that, every time you touch the buttons on the interior of the car, you feel like you're wearing away little parts of it every single time and that kind of takes some of the fun out of this whole situation. So the third thing that can fail on these early Gallardos are the e-gear system. And unfortunately the parts aren't cheap. Things that have been known and do fail on various occasions are the e-gear lines. They can all of a sudden just pop and blow. Those parts can actually fail and cost about five grand to fix an e-gear set of e-gear lines. Uh, a hydraulic pump for the e-gear system can cost three to five thousand dollars. The actuator, that's the big mamba, that thing can fail in about for about $15,000 to $20,000 you can get that rectified. So all of those parts, although rarely do you see all of them fail, each one of them is a fairly large amount of money to replace. So those things you must understand. And for those manual guys out there, by the way, clutch release bearings, very expensive. So the fourth thing that fails on these Lamborghini Gallardos are the power steering lines. Now Lamborghini recognized this a few years back and has actually issued a recall for the power steering lines because they have been known to ignite a car on fire due to leaks and basically corrosion has caused that leak. So that is one thing you gotta make sure that those recalls are taken care of. So the fifth thing that I thought I have to mention are the engines. These are a potential failure point. Now when I say failure, I don't mean they're all ticking time bombs. What I'm trying to say is the early 04s the press cars or the launch cars if you will were actually known in some cases to bomb or spin a bearing if you will spin a bearing a rod bearing very serious catastrophic failure that being said there may be other circumstances around that but there have been numerous cases of rod bearing failure on the early cars some of which were the location of the way they were constructed is is what I understand, some of which of course is the materials and the bearing material that they utilized. But largely it was the early cars that sustained those failures. As the years went on that improved and there was less and less noted cases of engine failures. So don't think the LP cars are out of the woods either. Carbon buildup on the LP cars too, just based on the design and some oversight that Lamborghini had. And of course now they had to be uh, decarbonized manually and that was a bit of a situation too so those also had some engine related issues there too so that is my summary of the five top fail points on a Lamborghini Gallardo. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it very enlightening please join along join the exotic car play place crew subscribe down below like comment and come back for the next one
Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Public transportation at its finest.